Hi, and welcome to the Recirculating Aquaculture Systems Tutorials. My name is Dr. Sarah Barento, and I will be uh, illustrating uh, what type of uh, treatments there are for waste solid removal. So, uh, from the previous uh, um, video about REST systems, uh, I've shown you these tanks and this system here, which is a recirculating system. You have these two tanks where you have your your fish, you have you know feed being the, uh, feed automatic feeder here potentially to feed your fish, and then what you want to do, you want to reuse the water. For you to be able to do that, you need to have a series of treatments, uh, starting with a mechanical filtration, uh, a disinfection unit, usually with UV. You want to strip this carbon uh, dioxide, and and also you want to have a biofilter that will um, oxidize the toxic ammonia. So this is the basic principles, and and as you can see here, can you have your fish in the tanks that will be excreting um, waste solids and all the other ammonia. Um, and the fecal matter and what I'm wanting to focus this time although you have all these components what I want to focus is the mechanical filtration and removal of waste solids uh, in this video so, uh, so waste solids can be classified into three main categories so you have settleable solids these are solids that they can, they can settle just examples are the, the feces regurgitated feed the seaweed the sand or even actually uh, not only regurgitated feed but also uneaten feed and suspended solids those are floating particles that they actually do not settle and then in the fine and dissolved you have uh, particles that are below 30 micrometers so the system usually needs to remove uh, as much waste as possible uh, it will need to concentrate waste uh, to allow an easy removal and above all it should have a, a minimum use of water and of course minimum use of energy. So if we want to remove these settable solids, uh, the feces, the regurgitated feed, the seaweeds and sand, we have to begin with, uh, we can just capitalize on the tank design which can actually facilitate settable solid removal by having this V-shape, this conical v-shaped uh, in the bottom you can easily kind of collect then this um, these settleable solids another way to to collect this uh, these solids is by a regular siphoning of the tanks now in terms of suspended solids uh, there are different types of mechanical filtrations i'm going to show you the sand filter but you could also have a drum filter uh, and in this case what happens is you have a filter that is half or even more than that full of sands and then the water comes high pressure through this and those floating particles will be trapped in the sand and of course the size of this trap of these uh, particles will depend on the size of the sands and and then if you want to actually to wash this um this sand filter and get rid of this of these particles uh, what you need to do is a backwash so if to if in the beginning the water is coming in this direction so that your particles get trapped in the sand, if you want to remove this and clean the filter, what you do, you have the water coming on the opposite direction so that those particles can then be um, taken out of the system and of this, of this uh, filter and the filter is then cleaned. So the filter allows to reduce the organic loads uh, and so that the water gets clearer as organic particles are removed, but it also improves the conditions of, of the biofilter and to allow the nitrification, so the um, having ammonia uh, oxidized to nitrates and nitrates, uh, and this prevents the biofilter to getting clogged, which is very important. <coughs> so in terms of suspended solids, um, you can also have a mechanical filtration using filter bags. Basically, these are bags, they are cloth bags, and uh, in this design, in this system, uh, this is actually was built to um, hold mussels, and these are the four tanks, these are four tanks here, and this area here, all this area is where the, the water treatment uh, systems are, uh, and this, you can see here the outflow, this is tank number one, tank two, three, and four, so there is an outflow that goes directly to this box where there is the the filter bags so this is the first mechanical filtration that you have in this system and you can also already see which I'll be just next next slide I'll be showing this is the protein skimmer or foam fractionator this is a chiller there is also UV lights in this system so as I mentioned the foam fractionator or protein skimmer it's used uh, to get rid of the fine and dissolved particles that are below 30 micrometers. So in this picture, it's actually the picture of the, this system here. 
So it's a picture taken from this side. And you can see here the protein skimmer, the four tanks where you have the muscles, the box with the, where the, we have the filters and actually there is a sump here. So the basic principle of a protein skimmer is that on the bottom you start producing many air bubbles that they go up and as they go up they start to aggregate those fine particles that they conglomerate in this foam in the top. So basically from bottom you have these uh, air bubbles going up, they are going to collect as they go along, collecting all these particles and then uh, they get concentrated and you can see here a foam producing and the foam is just the, all those particles getting together in concentrated form of, of foam. Um, this is why protein skimmers, uh, the top of it should be transparent so that you can see the amount of foam and you can easily see, you know, if you have, if your system is properly dimensioned and you have a proper dimension protein skimmer for the amount of biomass you have in your tanks. So this is the tutorial about the waste solids. I hope it was useful and next tutorial I'll be uh, explaining uh, the biofilter.